to head that way. I'll wait here in the boat. I feel safe on the river. Don't mind me, I'll just wait right here.
I'm impressed. You tore through those undead like a tornado. I'm sorry, where are my manners? I'm Will. You'd better talk to Dr. West. He's in charge here. You have to go through the locker rooms. <clears throat> the scientists here have started building barricades. Go. Look, <clears throat> see for yourselves. I'm a scientist, not a soldier. This isn't what I'm trained to do. I'm sure you're wondering what a laboratory like this is doing in the middle of a jungle. It's simple, really. We're developing, as well as testing various cosmetics, away from prying eyes. You see, our previous lab was firebombed by animal rights activists. But right now, we're dealing with a more immediate problem the source of this bizarre infection. I I'm sorry. Let me introduce myself. I'm Dr. Robert West. I've been examining the blood of several natives suffering from this infection, and it appears to be a virus of some kind. But it mutates so quickly it's impossible to classify. If you don't mind, I'll take a sample from each of you. In that case, uh, please, line up. Excellent. Thank you. I should have some answers in a few hours. In the meantime, perhaps you could help out a bit here? Useful. The infected animal tore the driver right out of the car. I. Robert, they're trying sorry, to but through. I didn't even try to, to help their attention. I, I, just, oh my God, they see me. I ran. Frank, hold on. I kept on running until I couldn't hear the driver screaming. Somehow I found the lab. A few of the guards thought I was infected. They almost fucking shot me. But they didn't. And. Thank God. And now I'm inside. I'm safe inside. But this complex, it is, this is, a problem. is not defensible. A group, however, is preparing to leave the lab for the island prison. So this it's designed to house the worst no of the worst. So it's a fortress. If the infection hasn't spread inside, then it may be uh, the last safe place. The last chance any of us have to survive this. Frank needs our help. Frank was trapped in the other part of the laboratory. You have to help him. I'll give her a shot. Thank you. Please, hurry.
You made it! Frank found a way to turn oleander sap into a poison that can shut down the central nervous systems of the infected, at least temporarily. Oh, yeah! I didn't want to worry West, but the emergency generator is almost out of gas. Unfortunately, I have to watch the entrance, but I'm sure you can handle it. You got it. The main fuse of the generator needs to be replaced. You'll find a new fuse in the warehouse right behind the laboratory. The generator is located just a little bit farther. Don't worry, I'll stay in touch through the camera surveillance system. This shit's getting tired.
orangutan. Oh, fuck. Oh, Jesus Christ. It's infected. It's the animal we hit. It's very bad. What the fuck is this?
can die! Thank you. Seriously. You may have just saved us all. Hey, if you need shells for the shotgun, please help yourselves. Talk to Dr. West. I think he might have discovered something. I've examined your blood. It's a bit of a mystery. You all have the same blood type, O negative, but that might just be a coincidence. For some reason, the virus doesn't react to your T cells the way it does to others. It doesn't mutate. It doesn't duplicate. It just dies. The only possible way to make someone else immune would be a complete blood transfusion. Not a practical solution, as it would likely result in your death. Good. Now, this is what I do know. It appears to be a strange mutation of a degenerative neurological disease endemic to this region, Kuru. It's a prion disease, like mad cow, only it affects humans, and was first discovered among the indigenous tribes that practiced cannibalism. The infected natives were brought in by their kinfolk, but the kinfolk weren't sick. The question is, why? What's the connection between you and them? Does their blood possess antibodies yours doesn't? The answer could save thousands of lives. I heard they left their village and set up camp somewhere nearby. I'm sure they're not far. I need you to find them and convince them to allow you to take some blood samples. Can you do this? Sure. I want to take blood samples, but they won't allow it. For you see, blood is sacred to them. I, I tried to explain, but I'm afraid I offended them.